Hello and welcome to Infinity. Something that bugged me for ages was blend mode or blending mode, same thing. I just didn't quite get them more than anything else. I didn't understand how they worked because I wanted to know not just here's something, click here and something happens. It's like, why does it work like it does? So if I can understand it, then I can be more deliberate in using it. So this is the beginning of a quite a long series in which I go into more detail than you'll find anywhere else. I've read every book I could find on the subject. I have watched shed loads of videos and by and large, I pieced together from that and also looked at the maths of things and how things work. And so this is going to be a series in in detail, but I'm also going a step at a time. So hopefully it will be helpful. We'll be doing a little bit of how it works stuff, but then a whole ton of practical examples for every single blend mode and then some more. So let's get going. So blend modes, here we go. A brief introduction. What is a blend mode or blending mode? Start off with this is you've got to understand layers. Um, you know, what is a layer and so on. Not super complex stuff, but if you see the word layer, you're going to know what it is. So here we go. And we start off with a layer in Affinity Photo. And we call this one the base layer because this is where we're starting from when we are going to do a blend. And the word base comes from the way that Adobe Photo uses it. You could use bottom layer if you like, same thing really. And then we've got the top layer, which just gets called the blend layer. And the key thing is we need to sort of take this and blend it together in some way with this. And these could be just single layers, or they could be something as a result of having done an adjustment of filter or whatever. But it's some effective layer. And what we do is we associate with this layer um, a formula or somewhere, which is the, the instructions on how to combine these. And this is what the blend mode is. It's that formula, that instruction on how to combine these two layers. And they then combine to form what's called a results layer, but there's no actual physical layer in the stack that you can see. You can have still two layers. Each one is one, and then another one, layer two is another. And what you see at the end is something completely different. And that's the result layer. And just to make it a little more, bit more fun, each of layer one and layer two could have come from a blend in itself. Anyway. So, when you calculate this, let's look have a look at how it kind of works in practice. Very simply, take one pixel, just one pixel, on the bottom layer here, the base layer, and suppose it's got red, green, and blue like this. Then take the corresponding, exactly the same position pixel on the layer above it, the blend layer, and those are different, red, green, and blue. And then we could say, the formula here could tell us to combine them in this way. That you take the bottom one and then you put the top one, just stack it on top, which is effectively adding it together. And this is an actual blend mode. It's called the blend, the add blend mode. And that's how all this works. So let's have a quick look at something on Affinity Photo itself. So here we've got two layers here. We've got a green layer and a blue layer. So if I turn off the, the green layer, you can see here at the bottom, there's a blue layer here. And then if I turn the top one on again, the one that's marked, the highlight in blue, here are the blend modes. And you can literally, and this is actually a good thing to do anyway, is, is just run your, down here because it completely changes it straight away and it's really quick. And you can see what it looks like. And you see every one here, you're getting some different combinations of these which is kind of interesting because you could actually actually go down and going I'm going to find out which one I like you know you could say well oh, that one's a nice one and it's done entirely by experiment and that's what I do a lot of the time a lot of things I've discovered a lot of useful things I found simply by trying stuff 
With this, by the way, it appears, um, blend modes appear here, but they appear in other places as well. So, for example, if I take go adjustments and do a curves, there's a blend mode down here. And if I'm using a paintbrush, like over here, then there's a blend mode up here. So I can paint with the blend applied at the same time. You can even, if you go to the little FX down here, which I haven't done any videos on yet, but I will do, click on that, and some of the things here have got blend modes built in there. So it does appear in a number of places. Anyway, that's enough for now. We're going to do more basics next time, and then we're going to get into the detail of each of the blend modes. So thank you very much for watching.